In this video, I will provide you with two simple math formulas, one for figuring the inside of a polygon or multi-sided object with the same measurements on each one of the sides. And for the most part, all of these geometric figures will fit into a circle like this, where each point of the polygon will connect to the circle. And the math formula for figuring out the inside angle will simply be to subtract the number 2 from the amount of sides and then multiply that number by 180 and then divide that number by the amount of angles to figure out what each individual angle would be. And for those of you who are more familiar with a square and square corners when working in construction, we can use the same math formula. And when we do find the angle for a square, for example, it is a 90 degree angle at each one of the corners. And to figure out the mitered angle, we're simply going to divide this angle by two. And in this example here, we would have two separate 45 degree angles. And since this is something most of you are familiar with, I chose to use this in our example. However, it will work throughout all of the other polygons. And for a pentagon with the same size, we can use the same math formula. And again, this is only going to work if all of the sides have the exact same length. And as far as calculating the outside angle, we're just simply going to take each connecting point or side, which we would have five of each, five sides and five connecting points, and divide that into 360 or 360 degrees. And for this example here, of course, we would have a straight line here and a 72 degree angle right here. So that would hold true for each one of these corners. And for those of you who understand what we're teaching, you can go ahead and stop the video right now. However, if you need a few more examples, then continue watching. I'm going to provide you with a few more polygons and the math calculations to figure out the inside and outside angles. So let's go ahead and get this thing started with an octagon or an eight-sided polygon. And it doesn't matter how big these objects are. The angles aren't going to change unless the length of the sides become different somehow, or the sides aren't located in the correct spot. And as far as the outside angles are concerned, we just need to divide 8, the amount of sides, into 360. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the miter joint. We have a 135 degree angle between this line and this line. And if we divide that by 2, we're going to end up with a 67.5 degree angle. And if this side was square right here, this would be a 135 degree angle on one side. You'd be able to use your framing square to cut a 45 degree angle from the outside. So we would have a shape that would look something like this, but we're going to need a 90 degree angle on one side to use the outside angle. So don't discount this. The outside angle might be useful if you're looking for a different design, something that is not going to be a miter coming from the outside corner to the inside corner. And in our last example, let's take a polygon with 12 equal shaped sides. Now, I'm not going to be narrating my way through this one. I'm simply going to end the video with all of the measurements you need for the inside and outside angles. And as always, if you have any questions at all about this video, feel free to leave them in the comment area. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to let us know whether or not you want to see more of these math videos. I know that a lot of people out there really aren't interested in these videos unless they need them for a specific project. But I beg to differ. I'm telling you, if you really want to master the art of construction, home design, architecture, engineering, you're going to need to know a little more about math. So make sure that you go to the website and check out some more of our construction math videos.